let's go and get this adventure started here. Oh. Hmm. Hello there. My name's Metaton. Hello. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It seems like some flowers happened to break my fall. Uh, broke my back a little bit too, but, you know, that's I guess to be expected. You must be so lost and confused. Uh, a little bit confused, yes. Uh, where am I? Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Okay, hello Toriel. I am Metaton, star of the underground. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Oh, well, wait, I'm human? Nobody told me I would be playing a human. I will do my best to protect you during your time here. Come, I shall guide you through the catacombs. Okay, Goat Mama, please lead the way. Oh, nice little red flowers here. What is this? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Okay, well, oh, that's a good start here. We get some determination going. Oh. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the proper use and the operation of the ruins. Okay. Oh. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. Hmm. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. What would happen if I happened to press one of these? Nothing. Nothing. Well, the door doesn't seem to close or anything. Huh. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Huh. That's an interesting little thing. Great philosophy by someone. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. What does the sign say? Press Z to read signs. Well, great. I've already figured that one out on my own. Now what about this? Stay on the path. On the path? I don't know about that. I think I'm just going to kind of walk around, not on the path. Defy all your expectations. I guess we'll flip that switch. And Goat Mama. See? Look at me. Look how defiant I am. You cannot control me! I'm not gonna walk your- Wait, I have to get across the path somehow. No! I have not thought this through! How am I supposed to do this, darlings? Uh, no, that one. No, no, no! You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Well, I'm not one that follow rules, though. No, no, no! You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Well. I thought you would say something different, but I suppose not. <clears throat> Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. I am proud of me too, Goat Mama. How about we go this way? Hold on for one second. It's still seeing me. I hope it's still seeing me. It looks like it's still seeing me. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in the fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay. Hello there, Mr. Dummy. I'm gonna kiss you on the nose. You encounter the dummy. Fight the dummy? No. We're not here to fight. We're here to love, darlings. We're here to love. What do we want to do? Let's check the dummy out. Dummy. Attack zero, defense zero, cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Aww. Edge is so sweet. Now isn't it, darlings? It says nothing. Hmm. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Well, let's try to talk with you. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. 
Ah, very good. You are very good. I, yes, I am very good. Thank you, Grout Mama. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Beep, 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 like that. Beep. It, I remember this being told that there's another puzzle in this room, but... Like, I don't actually see a puzzle here other than the fact that there's like this path, and then I think that she's just like, nope, let's walk this way. What's the puzzle? Well, I don't see anything. I'm pressing things and trying to do things, but I don't see a puzzle. Darlings, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to just walk this path? That seems to be the thing I'm supposed to do. Well, whatever. Hey! Try to talk to me! Frog, it attacks you. Do I fight, or do I act? Frog it! Let's compliment you. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Oh! Goat Mama's giving a nasty, sneering look. Oh man, I won and earned zero XP and zero gold. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay, let's go through. Oh, hey, go, oh, Mama, I can't get past you. Fine. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Do I have to? I mean, yes, if he, if I could actually figure it out. I mean, I could figure it out. All right, well, we're just gonna walk this path, I guess. And I'm really short. Why am I so short? Some little leg extensions or something. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. I don't know. They don't seem that dangerous to me. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like to ask you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Um. Oh. Did I go backwards? I want to go back into the spike room. I'm gonna do this. How about that? I'll check everything. Check everything. Is there anything in here? Anything? No, I guess not. Fine. Forget the path. Who needs paths? I don't need any paths in my life. I make my own path. Oh, what's over here? A whole bunch of stuff. Grass, 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 nothing. Okay, that might be worth checking out. Oh, nope, nope. Nothing, nothing. Uh, oh, mama. Oh, she's just standing there going, huh. Fine, I'll come on this side. How about that? Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. Well, you're welcome. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. You must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Was that test to see whether or not I would walk on the path? Because clearly I didn't. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Oh, yay. Hope that's got enough minutes on it. I plan to text a lot of people. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Okay. Let's go on. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It'd be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? What if I go back? I go over here? You know what? Let's keep going. Let's just get going. Uh, candy! It says take one. Take a piece of candy. Why, yes, I feel like that is a great idea. You took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. Okay. Take one, take a candy? Why, yes, I think I should take some more. I love all the candy. You took more candy. How disgusting. Oh. Don't judge me. I'll have all the candy I want. I am Metaton. I'm a star, baby. Take one, take a candy? Yes, I will take all the candy. 
You took another candy. You feel like the scum of the earth. Maybe I am. Don't judge me. Take one. Take a candy? Yes. I think we should definitely... You took too much candy too fast. The candy spills on the floor. Let's check and make sure everything is looking good. Ah, uh, Look at what you've done. Darlings, I feel so ashamed of myself. I just can't help myself. Candy, candy is just too good. No. Don't judge me. Do not judge me, darlings. I'll have all the candy I want if I want to. Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell me. Is it butterscotch? Well, you told me not to tell you, but... I kind of like butterscotch, yes. I do kind of like it. Let's say yes. <laughs> I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I... I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt... Like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. You're welcome. I wonder why she wanted to know if I liked butterscotch or not. Oh, I had another call. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? Actually, I might have an allergic reaction to it. It's fatal, you know? It causes me to swell up massively, can't breathe, nothing like that. I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Well, I mean, no, I love cinnamon, but I might die. I just, just want you to know, I might die. Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Something tells me she's going to try to give me cinnamon, and I'm going to die. That just doesn't seem all, that doesn't seem appropriate. Okay, what does this say? Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. What about the fourth one? What do they want? Have you ever stop to consider what that last one wanted, darling? Now you, over here. Nope. Hold small. Why are you getting in my way? Please, just go ahead and be mercied already. Okay, and... Oh. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Wait, are you that fourth rock? See, I was asking why exactly they think that it would be good to just go ahead and push you around when you don't like it. Hmm? Huh? So you're asking me to move over? Ah oh, yes, if you would kindly please move over to that switch, that'd be cool. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. Sorry. That'd be glorious. That'd be glorious, darling. Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Uh, could you move over a little bit more, please? Hmm? You want me to move some more? Yes, please, uh, move just uh, over there. Alright, how's this? Uh, no, not there. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. it. Yeah. Ah, there you go, thank you. Thank you, darling, thank you. What? Hey! How do you do that? Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? Ah, you're giving me a real workout here. Alright, that's better, thank you. Aren't things easier when you just ask? Well, yeah, it's quite a lot easier if you just ask. Hello, oh, little mouse hole. It squeaks! <laughs> Hello, little tiny mouse. I'm Metaton. Pleased to meet you. I hope you watch the Metaton show. Moving some cheese here. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Oh, I would have liked some cheese. I'm going to have to get my dresser to get me a cheese plate later on. Knowing a mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Alright, let's go forth with my determination. Oh, hello there. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying zzzz. Out loud, repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Hey, yes. Here comes Napsablook. Oh, Napsablook, how you doing, darling? You look like you're a little bit sad. 
Uh, let's try to cheer you up. How about that? You gave Naps a look a patient smile. <laughs> I love this little funky beat, darlings. Perhaps the look looks just a little bit better. Let's uh, try to cheer you up. You told Naps to look a little joke. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Cheering seems to have improved Naps of Blook's mood again. Let's cheer you up once more. Naps of Blook wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blook. Do you like it? Why, yes, I do. I like it. It's absolutely fabulous. Let's try to flirt with you, baby. Oh no. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Come back and meet me again sometime, darling. I think you'll be fun to entertain and dance around with. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me? I saw Torio come out of here a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We we're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. Okay. Hmm. Looks like Hamlet's happened here. I guess she'll just leave that. I have no need for it. Okay, so... Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Oh. Hello there, Goat Mama. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Actually, I don't think I am. I don't think I've got any hits or anything. Not a scratch. Impressive. But still... I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er... Well... I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Okay. Oh, look at all these red leaves. It looks like a house, too. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that, darlings. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Uh, Goat Mama, I was trying to tell you, I'm allergic to cinnamon. You might have wanted to... Well, I'll still eat it. I love it. But you might want to have some, uh, yeah, emergency medical stuff for that sort of thing around. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. But darling, I love escargot. You should have given me some of that. I would take that all. Here, I have another surprise for you. Uh, what's over this way? Oh, look at this. It's a nice little fireplace. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. That doesn't seem like the best of ideas, darling. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Wrapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like the name Home, darling. Uh, oh, this is it. Room of your own. I hope you like it. God, I must be such a midget. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Okay, I will. What's that? I'm not sure what that is. Nope. I've seen this type of plant before, but don't know its name. Okay. Hmm. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Look at these cool toys. 
They don't interest you at all. Okay, well... Hmm. Such a charming song. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. I think I'll go to head and take a nap. Oh. Hello there. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Mmm. Tasty! Hello, goat mama. What are you up to? Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Really? Hmm. That's interesting. I could see you being a good teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still. I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Um, nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Uh... pie. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. I don't know, I could eat the whole thing, darling. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. The stovetop is very clean. Oriole must use fire magic instead. Ah, uh, great old fire magic. Cooking the old-fashioned way. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Okay, and... For some reason... There's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. That's the best place to keep them. Nice and cold chocolate. Uh, let's go ahead and talk with you again. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Well, sure. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Well, I kind of want to go ahead and exit the ruins now, I think. I have to do something. Stay here. Uh, Goat Mama. Goat Mama, what are you doing? Toriel. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2001X. Ah, my favorite year. Well, darlings, let's, uh, let's see what's down here. Oh. Ah, hello there. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Uh, hmm. I just wonder what would happen if I do go upstairs. Nothing. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep going. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you not understand? Go to your room. Goat Mama, I can't really do that. I've got to make the story progress, after all. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Well... Sorry. I don't listen that well. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You're just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Like you have seen a ghost. You know something that I do not. 
Well, I might. No. That's impossible. Well, sorry all blocks away. I'm just gonna try to spare you, no, Mama. Nothing, huh? Oh, oh, there we go. I'm gonna keep sparing you. I do not want to fight, go mama. Oh. Spare. Ow. Ah, hmm? uh, no, no, no. Spare you. What are you doing? Oh, ow. Attack or run away? Oh, ah. Crud. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that I do not need to fight you, Goat Mama. We do not need a fight. I'm gonna have some monster candy. Mama, we do not need to do things this way. Fight me or leave. Oh, oh. Ah, no. That did not heal me for that long. Stop it. No. I can't stop it. I'm filled with too much determination, darling. Oriole is acting aloof. Stop looking at me that way. I can't. Don't you understand, Goat Mama? Oh. Toriel takes a deep breath. Go away! Hmm. Oh. And... I feel like we're wearing her out. Yeah, she's starting to get sad now, darlings. She doesn't even want to fight anymore. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I'm sorry, I can't do that. I have to progress the story. I promise I will take good care of you here. Oh. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Oh. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even save a single child. No. I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. Goodbye, goat mama. I will always remember your goatiness and your mama iness. Wonder where she went to. You back over here somewhere? I'll leave in a little bit, but I want to make sure I say goodbye to you properly. Uh, 
Hmm. Still not around here either. Oh well. We'll just keep going forward. Ah, uh, onwards to adventure and to eventual victory. I hope that we're going to have victory. Pleasant thing to have victory. So, darlings, I think this is going to be a start of a glorious adventure here. This is a long journey. How much is certain? Oh, nothing. Okay. Undertale by Toby Fox. Professor Booster, can we bring him along? I don't trust hippies! Fetzer! Huh? Two! Our escape must be put on hold for now! The doctor has found the location of the red flowers! Uh huh? Huh? As of yet, he doesn't have his hands on them! But it's only a matter of time before he does! Their location is Sand Zone! I've heard that the red flowers are...